He actually came. Well, why wouldn't he? He did make a promise to you. Oh, I don't know. Maybe because he's a famous voice actor and probably has somewhere better to be? True, true. You know, there is something odd about him being here. What do you mean? Well, think about it. He just happens to come to our minuscule butterfly house in the middle of nowhere and just happens to have the free time to come and see some unprofessional musical put on by a summer camp. Nope, I don't see it. Shouldn't you be getting to the other side of the stage? The show is going to start soon. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Oh, oh, oh. Huh? Oh, oh, oh. What's that? Ow. What were you doing? What were you doing? No, what were you doing? What were you doing? I was chasing after Santa. What were you doing? I was chasing after Santa too. <gasps> what? What is on my head? Well, there's not a leaf, that's for sure. There's a leaf on my head? What are you two doing back here? The show has started. What are we gonna do about the leaf on your head? I don't know. What are we gonna do about your hat? My hat. Oh my god, I have a hat on! It won't come off! If the director finds out about this, then she will bury us alive and dance on our graves. I am not exaggerating. Well, maybe I am. Not the point. I came out to have a good time, and I'm honestly feeling attacked right now. He disappeared! It's like the line in Ghosts in the Graveyard. When they reached the covered bridge, the horseman suddenly turned into a skeleton. But that didn't happen at all. That's because the animator is too lazy to draw a skeleton. Great. Just great. So I suppose we are in Sleepy Hollow then? I guess so. So what do you think we should do now? I guess the story of the Headless Horseman will just play out and we wait for it to end. I guess we could see if that works. I guess the story has finally reached its climax. If it has, then that Horseman should just be brawn bones. What now? I don't know. This is the end of the story. Vic is gone! He was there one minute, and then gone the next! Vic was simply an illusion created by Christmas magic. <gasps> <gasps> So what was the point of him being here?
to move the show along, of course. Ugh, do we need to break the fourth wall? Well, apparently we do, because you just did it again. What, what do, you do you think? think? Should, Should we, we break, break the fourth wall, wall a couple, a couple more, more times, times this episode? This episode? <laughs> So anyway, Santa, why are you here? To make sure you receive your gifts, of course. Gifts? Yes, your gifts. You also have powers. Also? Wait, who else has these powers? Sterling, of course. Why else would she have dog ears after I changed her back from a lamp? That was a sign of their new powers. Oh, so that's why Marissa had a leaf on her head. And why I had a cat hat. Precisely. So, why do we need these powers? All in good time, girls. All in good time. Ho, ho, ho. What just happened? I'm not sure.